Hey guys, welcome in. Thanks for joining us for the second episode of Whiskey Flicks. On this episode, my brothers and I will be discussing Netflix's new original movie, Extraction, with Chris Hemsworth. We'll also be drinking a little bit of our Eagle Rare bourbon today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Cheers. Drinks in hand, ready to go. Taylor, I'm going to throw it to you this week first because I went first last week. So take it away. All right. What's going on, everyone? Um, bang, right there. That's right. Um, Cheers. So, yeah, uh, I do definitely want to start off by talking about Eagle Rare. Um, of course, last week, as soon as we got off um, in my drunken state that I was in, I was like, oh, man, we totally forgot to talk about the whiskey. Really dropped the ball there. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll start it off. We'll start it off. You know, we'll, we'll get the ball rolling here. Um, I have to say, Tail, I think that people might have seen that it was a pretty good bourbon, considering what it did to us in that time frame. Yeah, I think, right? <laughs> right, exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but this week, we'll, we'll touch on how, I, how we actually feel about it. Um, so, Eagle Rare, um, I got to say, uh, the nose for me, I don't know about you guys, a little boozy, mm -hmm. a little boozy. Um, which definitely at first I was just like, oh man, I was like, I hope that this doesn't, you know, it's going to be too hot. Is it going to be, you know, am I going to even like this? Um, which kind of like how PJ felt about once upon a time in Hollywood. Like it, it seems like everyone likes Eagle rare. So I was like, I have to like this. Right. Um, that's right. But for me, the taste, um, I really enjoy it. A uh, little bit of vanilla, a little bit of spice. It's not overly sweet. Um, and I think that the finish, I, I like the finish. It, it sort of lingers with that kind of oaky, almost spiciness to it. Um, but for me, yeah, it was nice, mellow, um, nothing too crazy. I think it's, I think it's excellent for just sipping. Um, I, yeah, I, I can't I agree, say Taylor. I was, I was actually, it. I was actually shocked by the, the spice on it. I'm trying to figure out where that's coming from. I didn't look up the mash bill at all to see right. what they're using because obviously, corn right yes but then like are they using any kind of rye in there or anything there's because gotta it does be some have... sort of rye there's gotta okay. be some sort of rye in there um yeah i can actually i'm gonna look it I up right now too okay. and also cool. this was actually this is um this is made by buffalo trace distilling yes it is Kentucky, right so we had the buffalo trace with mm -hmm. what was it uncut gems yes yeah and i'll take coming soon and then mm. <laughs> good but, tease um, right there Right. So this is this is 10 years old. Yes. And I think Buffalo Trace, they say, is somewhere that it's like seven to nine, I believe. So you're getting an extra year age for, I think, cost wise, an extra seven bucks or right. something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I paid five, five dollars more for the Eagle Rare than I did for the Buffalo Trace. Right. But again, for a, for a bourbon under forty dollars, just sort of like last week with that Elijah Craig, I think it's. I think it kind of knocks it out of the park. I mean, not a crazy price point, but mm -hmm. I think it, I think it's really good. I would agree. Pete, what do you think? I I enjoyed it. My initial when I first tried it, I thought it was Taylor. You're right. The it does have that smell to it, like you know the alcohol smell. Um, but when I first tried it, I was like, oh, this is really smooth, and I actually didn't it was a lot like the buffalo trace in terms of smoothness and not a lot of flavor for me again um how i felt um so i liked it i you know i would but out of the three we've had i don't it's definitely not my favorite one okay and i don't fair, know if we fair. should be doing that i don't know i don't know if that's all right that we're doing right like, no I, mean, I, I agree with you there um, that's fine i agree with that um i i I will say I preferred the Elijah Craig to the Eagle Rare. Definitely. I would agree with that too. Elijah Craig was super tasty, man. Yeah, it really so it, was. Yeah, that's 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 yeah, three out of three. Because I felt the same way. Again, it wasn't I enjoyed it, but like mm -hmm. it wouldn't I don't know, it just didn't blow me away. It just, it didn't, doesn't just make, didn't blow me away. It's not gonna make my in house all the time list. There you go. That's a good way right? to put it. Okay. Like I'm yeah. gonna I've always been a, a bullet drinker. I love bullet bourbon. I have it all the time. That's my go-to for just standard in-house. Yeah. But after Elijah Craig last week, I was like, you know what? That could be definitely something to throw in that, just having it on the counter at all times to drink. Eagle Rare, although very nice for me as well, maybe not 
it probably won't be one of those. But mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. If somebody pours me a glass, I'm not gonna be like, "Ugh, that's disgusting." Yeah. Take it away from me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Like it's it's right. definitely well done. But take this and, away, sir. Yeah, take this away. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. This is disgusting. But it's, oh, I think it, I thought it was very good too. I, again, I just I don't know. I'm trying to look up this mash bill and see what they have. But the spice on it was cool. Again, nose boozy for sure. It had a, a lot of heat to it, and I was like, "Wow, yeah. that's that's kind of odd. I didn't expect that at all." Right. Um, I didn't either. Like, go ahead. I'm sorry if you go. No, I was going to say, I, I, I didn't expect that either, but it's something that after a few sips, like I, I warmed up to it quickly in terms mm-hmm. of like the the heat. Like it didn't take like a couple of like drinks to get there. Like it very quickly, I was like, all right, this is, I can do this. This is fine. Um, right. So. Right. After we, um, become super popular and start you know getting a little cash coming in on this one sure. Sure. Yeah. we'll check out that double eagle you guys see Ooh, that okay. one no. i have not seen well, it. you got to no. check it out like the the bottle is beautiful i'm sure it costs a ton of cash mm-hmm. but i would pay just out of the bottle there's an eagle on the cap and an eagle in the bottle what? All, all glass <laughs> so that's that's going out to all our uh, to our listeners. That's uh, right. You know, yeah. Let's start to monetize this thing so we can uh, exactly we can try that. Right. If somebody <laughs> wants to start it, go fund me. I mean, I'm not going to yeah. be upset about it. You want to do that? That's cool. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Speaking speaking of the bottles, I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to touch on that. The label, Buffalo Trace's label was the coolest. Mm. Um, Buffalo okay. Trace's label is pretty awesome. This is yeah, kind of cool sick, though, man. That, yeah, I like the, yeah, I like the Eagles. That's right, right behind it for me. It's close. Um, that's pretty. But I, like I, I liked, but the bottle shape, I liked yep. Elijah Craig. I liked, yep. I just like the bottle of it. But also, I like the, what is it, the inset of that bottle? Like, I like that it isn't a flat bottom. There's like a little, I don't know why. I just thought that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, and, I will say the thing that annoys okay. me about the Eagle Rare, sorry, uh, is it doesn't stand up in my cabinet. Um, where I'm mm-hmm. my stuff. So that's my one complaint about the bottle. It's a little, eh, that's a little fair. Right? <laughs> I had to lay it down. I was like, eh, well. A little side note to Buffalo Trace. It's all about dimensions. Get it together, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> right. seriously. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, though, with everything. Uh, I don't know. It's close for me. I, I like the look of the of the Eagle Rare bottle. It's it's clean. It, I like it's it. cool. It is. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you, though. I think that the Buffalo Trace is, is the cooler bottle. It was cool. And, uh, sorry, yeah. real quick, minor, uh, but to me this is important, the tops. Yep. They're trying to get the top back on Buffalo Trace. It's like they didn't want you to stop drinking. They're like, <laughs> like I literally tried to put it on like three times. It would pop off. I was like, this is ridiculous. Uh, Elijah Craig, <laughs> top was no. perfect. It was, it was like, yeah. close it up, take it off. I loved it. You know, the top's right. Huh, all right. Come on. Get your shit together. <laughs> Figure it out. I mean, for me in that conversation, Buffalo Trace wins, right? I think they have us nailed. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, it's really hard to get back on. I'll just finish it. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't close sitting. this bottle. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much you're not hard. getting off the couch. I'll try it twice. This thing's ending right now. <laughs> I wish we were doing a comparison between Eagle Rare and Buffalo Trace right now, side by side. If I still had yeah. any of the three bottles that I bought, left, <laughs> I would do that. I still, have, sure, I but... still have some Buffalo Trace left. <laughs> None of them made but it. I don't. <laughs> no, no. no. Sacrifice for the greater good. <laughs> the way I'm looking at it is, by the end of this, I'm going to have a pretty sweet little uh, bourbon collection going on because I'm killing like half these thing. bottles, and I'm just kind of hanging on yep. to the rest of them. So yeah, and yeah. I'm going to if- be dead. <laughs> Come on, I was just gonna say. <laughs> so enjoy, enjoy own, this time together, brothers. <laughs> if I don't get to appreciate that collection for a few months, it'll be really nice. <laughs> Once my liver gets out. So ridiculous. Yeah, everything's collected in my liver right now, and it is not yeah. happening. But again, I think I think uh, end of the day, I mean, it's it's good price point, really good. I think all the the bourbons we've tried. Have been at almost the same price point, right? They haven't been yeah. like right out of the realm, and this one is definitely. I mean, we didn't do the uncut gems <clears throat> recording, so you know it's tough to to do that. But to take the three whiskeys that we've had or bourbons that we've had, this is probably 
Is this number three out of the three? Yeah, it yeah, is. That's fair yeah. to say. Yeah. It's it is. not far off, though. It's definitely no. not far off. No, they're all. Uh, that's that's fair. They're all very. Yeah, it's not like this one is like you know the paper cup award. <laughs> it's yeah. not right. like I'll still right. put this in a glass. Like I'm fine with that. Oh, like yeah. it's good. Definitely. The paper but... cup award. That's <laughs> that's I'll great. Go. All right, Taylor. So if you had to give it a review, what do you think the star review would be for Eagle Rare? So, like we just really spoke about. I mean, it's it's a good bourbon. It's good. Um, I can't really fault it. Um, is it something I would keep in the house at all times? No. Is it something I would order if I'm sitting at a bar? Absolutely. Um, so in fairness, I don't want to go too crazy. Um, I think we should keep the standard. Five star should be ridiculously good. I'm going to go, I'm going to say a solid three stars, but it's a, it's a strong three. It's a strong three for me. I like that. That's a good review. That's I like that. PJ, what do you think? Uh, I, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm in line with Taylor. Uh, I think I would give it a three, but I would say it's it's not a it's not a like a slam dunk three for me. It's like right at the three mark. Again, I'm not saying it's a, it's not it's not bad. I enjoyed it, but like. It's cl- it's a, it's not close to a four. It's like if we're not we're not doing have like it's a three and it's right there. I wouldn't go any higher. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it, but it right. wasn't you know it's terrific. I guess. All right, gave it to us, Mike. What do you think? All right, so here's the thing. Threes for me are a big thing. I most of them like going to what we're doing. Most of the movies that I rate are threes. Mm-hmm. Fives are exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. So a three holds a lot of weight in my mind. So I'm going to give Eagle Rare a two. Ooh, I like that. Um, I'm going like to give that. it. I'm going to give it a two because it is a really. It's obviously a very good bourbon. Price point's perfect. Um, the taste of it, it's very good. Is it as good as like we talked about Elijah Craig? For me, no. Um, is it something that I'm going to keep, like Taylor said, on my shelf all the time and have? No. Would I order at a restaurant? For sure. No doubt about it. Um, but I think that, yeah, three for me, just it holds a little more weight than this one is worthy of. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a two. Definitely. Right. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. And I like that. Um, I like that rating. I, I, I respect that. It's yeah. an honest rating. It is. Rating, it is. Which I think is important here. It's important. It yeah. is. Um, so, I agree. So... So, yeah, just to clear up, uh, so we're okay with, as a unit, uh, giving this bourbon a three-star review. A two-star so. and two threes. I, I think we, I think it's safe that, that we could give it a, a soft three-star review. I totally agree. I think if we did the average that we were talking about right now, we'd probably be looking at a 2.75, 2 point whatever, 6. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, round it up, I think a soft three. Would and by the a, way, I love that word to describe it. A soft, soft three. three. I like yeah. that. It's a soft three. Because we're not going to get into like the points, whatever points. No. Yeah, well, no, yeah, that's, that's what I figure. Yeah, that's yeah. what I figure. Just keep it simple. One through yeah. five. Yeah. Yep. And that's, thank you, Taylor, for bringing that up. Like a hard and then a, a hard three and a soft three. Yeah, right. That was great. Right. That was awesome. Yeah, so, yeah for sure. I, I, like think, I think our rating of Eagle Rare Bourbon right now as a collective is going to be a soft three. That's fair. I, I couldn't Don't agree work. more. I mean, I I think I'm a little bit higher than you guys, but like I said, collectively, I can't really disagree with anything you guys said. So that works for me. Awesome. All right. So going into the movie, initial thoughts for me are that I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, in terms of an action movie, I thought the action was where it needed to be. Car chase, gunfights, hand to hand. I mean, just. I mean, it's, it's what it's what I look for uh, in in a, a movie like this. And I can. And I was surprised. I'm gonna. I'm surprised. I'm saying this. I cared about the characters, and I actually. <laughs> and uh, I was kind of invested. Like I. I didn't view it as just a simple like just bodies everywhere action movie. So overall. Initial impression, I enjoyed it. Love that. 
Taylor, I'm going to go next if you don't mind. Yeah, do it. Here's the problem with movies like this. I love them. I <laughs> absolutely love them. They're like, my wheelhouse, man. I'm with you. <laughs> so, like, I, I, what P just said about the character, I get, I looked up reviews. I get so frustrated when the critics decide to tell me about how on like the, a character wasn't deep enough or whatever. Shut up. The character wasn't deep enough. What, you didn't know what you were going into when you turned this movie on. Like, yeah. not, this wasn't a movie that was trying to get an award or anything. This is just two hours of just craziness and excitement and awesomeness. And then you're like, just get the kid out. Put him in something. Get him away. This is amazing. I thought Hemsworth rocked. I thought he was amazing in the whole thing. I thought he played a mercenary to a T. It was I was totally bought in. First of all, you start a movie with a silenced rifle shootout, I'm in. I'm locked in. I can't go anywhere. I, I love the sound of silenced anything, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. It's tough not to. It's tough not to. It's a cool sound. It's awesome. You open, you Every open time. the movie with a pew, I'm done. <laughs> I'm in. I'm like, what happened? This is my movie. I got to watch this movie now. Oh, on, well, like I don't, I don't understand. I think that people, need, uh, critics, or, or, or people need to understand what they're going into watching. Like as soon as this was over, all they wanted to do was watch like Tango and Cash, Wanted, Commando, Rambo. Like that was my life right there, right? Like I was like, this is awesome. This is exactly what I needed. I thought it was great, and I hate to see people to tell me like the review stunk because we didn't have time to build into the characters. I don't want to build into the characters. I just want you to show me some shit for a while. Throw somebody off a building and I'm done. Right? The choir. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So I <laughs> guess this is where I'll jump in uh, because this is going to be pretty brutal for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the movie at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. This is ridiculous. Um, uh, thank you very much for joining us for our last right. episode of Whiskey Flicks. <laughs> <Whiskey. laughs> I'll see you at the wedding, Taylor. That's the next time we're going. <laughs> so, look, I can't disagree with you guys. I, I understand it's an action movie. I got, I, I get it. Um, I'm not looking for a whole backstory here. Um, I'm not. That being said, I didn't. I didn't even know his name was Tyler until like an hour. And a half. <laughs> um, that being said, I was drinking, so that could have something to do with it. That's but I mean, it, I don't know. And then um, I, you know, the opening scene comes up again. Totally agree. It's cool. I love silencers. They're fun. But I was watching. I was like, this is the ending. Uh, you know, like I, I already right. was watching it. And I was just right. like, all right, like all right, I, I get it. They're playing the ending first, and then we're gonna build up to that. Um, it just, it was fine. It was cool. I, I had fun watching it. There were scenes where I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is, you know, I got into it. But at the same time, overall, it just, it came up short for me. It came up short. I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right. I'll give it to you. I don't agree, but I'll give it to you. I don't know, <laughs> but I think, what were you, when... <laughs> I mean, you watched the trailer. What were you mm -hmm. expecting going in? You knew what it was going to be. Exactly. Yeah, no. And I think I, I went in with a pretty, like, I, I don't think I'm going to like this. So, I oh, mean, okay. yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, uh, I'm pretty, uh, I know. I'm being pretty, I'm being pretty awful uh, right now. Um, How when can it you came watch that my... trailer and go into the movie and think you're not going to like it? I this knew was exactly, the thing I ever. Mean, I yeah. knew exactly what I was getting into when I saw the trailer. Um, I have I have notes here. Um, oh, I got notes. I, I, I got notes. I, 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 have, I notes. have some notes. Um, just my initial response to the movie was it tried a little too hard. It was like, I get it. Like the John Wick shooting scene where he's going through with the pistol. You know, it was cool, but I was like, I, I you know, like, I, I mean, come on. It, We've it, seen it, it all. Can you say I've seen that before? Is that what you were about to I'm utter gonna, that, those I'm words? I'm not going to say I've seen it before, but <laughs> when I saw it, <laughs> I was like, I've seen this before. <laughs> see, that's ridiculous. That scene, I don't like this at all. I don't like it. Um, can we talk I'll, about I'll leave it to you guys, please. No. 
Let's talk about that yeah. shooting. I got what I wrote, wrote down. Uh, oh, so I wrote down separate sections. So scenes. That reload out of the vest was mm-hmm. insane. Fucking great. That was, that was cool. Great. That was cool. <laughs> Realize he had no bullets left, just smashes the guy's face or neck with the, the pistol and then reloads out of the vest. And Come on. I was like. Yeah, that, that was cool. That was cool. Let me. Oh, also, I should definitely say this. I've, I've watched this five times. I watched it twice in one day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I may I'm, have to watch it again because I guess I missed something. I guess I missed something. I watched it the twice the first time that I watched it just to make sure I had everything. Mm-hmm. And then I thought I had everything, and I was like, I'm going to put it on again and just watch it again. And it was okay. it was just as good. I was all over it. I was like, yes. So awesome. Man. Scenes. Hey, what do you got? All right. I'll, I'll, I, got, I, got, I have more notes for this movie than I did for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. How to think about that. Um, so I'll just, I'll take them in snippets because I, if I go, I'll just keep, I'll keep, I'm just going to kind of go sequential just for fun. Um, so I'm not going to, I'll get to scenes, but okay. To Taylor's point, I actually appreciate it, especially for an action movie, the time that they took to try to set up the kid and the background backstory. Okay. It's not like, it was like 20 minutes. That's a perfect amount of time for an action movie. Like Mike, like you said, like, I don't need... You know, to be like, oh, you know, every little detail. I don't need that. I need right. something. So, like, uh, and so I, to Taylor, your point, like, uh, just didn't, like, set it up or didn't care. Like, I felt they like put forth an effort, and I appreciate it, um, especially for an action movie. <clears throat> um, so, moving into an opening scene where I was like, what the fuck? When they're smoking weed out, uh, outside and the little, yeah. the little his friend gets shot, I was like, whoa, this movie's not pulling any punches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was cool. I literally out loud said, whoa, what the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, there was no pause, no <laughs> edit. Was like, I know what's happening. They just shot him in the head. It was yep. done. Yeah. Totally got shot in the head. And I was like, oh, damn. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, in terms of scenes, so the next scene where they're... Uh, uh, Hemsworth is hanging out with his two friends or whatever. Um, and he just walks off the cliff, like, yeah. hold my beer, walks off the cliff. I was like, come on, that's super cool. I was like, Amazing. I wish I was that badass, even half that badass once in my life. Just walk so let's off. get from there, Pete. From, that was like the point where I noticed it. And then throughout the movie, I saw it. The camera work in this movie was disgusting. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was that, good. Like, you brought it up in the beginning, Pete. That car chase scene... When they pan, when he backs up and backs into the dude who's trying to get the kid, and they pan from the back window around the side to him coming out, like being just like all dazed, and then they pan around to where the guys go up the building. That was all one scene, one shot. That was beautiful. I love that. I was like, what? It just that's amazing. That was crazy, dude. I I, I completely agree. Like during that car chase, like I, I I saw some of the shots, and I was like, so I'm hooked up to the Matrix right now, right? Because this is not. You can't shoot stuff like like I was like, how did he do that? When they yeah. go, it's in the trailer, but like when he reverses and it goes from outside the car inside the car, I'm like, yeah. what is going on? So <laughs> I, will, so yeah, I will say I do like that whole like dashboard um, view of the of the chase uh, where they're in the back and they have that view going out the windshield. That was cool. I, was I did great. like that view. Um, that was that was fun. I'll, I'll give it that. So good. Sorry to interrupt, Pete. Keep going, man. Mm. No, I got a lot. So, um, I love the way he accepted the assignment. So, like, nonchalant. Like, she breaks it down, like, in his house. He's like, all right, I'll take it. And I was like, oh, man, come on. You just jumped off a cliff. Now you're accepting <laughs> stuff that's obviously going to kill you. And I was like, you're, t- uh, like, honestly, like you said, Mike, I thought, I, I love Hemsworth. Like, yeah. I want to see him in everything now. <laughs> I want to say, the more I can see him, the better. Yeah, um, one review I read, I read a critics review, and they said, um, this movie makes you forget why you like Chris Hemsworth. So immediately I thought in my mind, the only thing I've ever seen him in is Thor, the Avengers, yeah. and this. I think he's yeah. doing okay. Like, that's exactly what I want to yeah. see. Yeah. 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 But is he ever going to... But, okay, so I, I hate to I hate to be this guy. Uh, is he ever going to act? 
Feels like you're gonna be this guy the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm> gonna, <laughs> Seems like you're the guy for this video. Say, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, go I'm gonna totally blast this thing. Is he ever gonna act, or is he just gonna be pretty? <laughs> oh, see, that's oh, see, I. Okay. I mean, he is. If not, you were in the same is, state, I would be driving to find you right now. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good not, looking. I got it. Everyone's good looking. Everyone's actually, good looking in Hollywood. We we fought watching this movie about who is better looking, him or his brother Liam, and I won. And I don't know how to feel about that. Like I, I fought hard. Chris Hemsworth is beautiful. That is a beautiful I mean, man. I think I think that's a fight worth fighting. I support it. I fought, I fought yeah, it a lot, he's... like to the point of get out of my bed. I don't want to even see you right now. Chris Hemsworth is it's over. Yeah, you better knock it off. Yeah, he, yeah. I, I mean, look, yeah, we get it. He's Australian. He's yeah. good looking. Yeah, he's he's checking a lot of the boxes. He but wins. I mean, how about a how about a passion project or something? I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> See, now, here's the thing. I thought I thought he act, I, I liked his character. I thought he acted well. I I, I couldn't disagree with him more. Uh, I thought he played it very well. I, I also think I was just thinking about this when I saw the um the introduction. The, Sorry. The, <laughs> that joke. Sorry, man. That was really funny. <laughs> the produced by and the directed by, I think they were both Avengers, yeah? Or maybe the directed by was Avengers and the produced by was something else. But they've all, I think they've all worked or they both worked with Hemsworth before. So You're I right. think he definitely benefited from that in this picture because they knew exactly how to use him, how to shoot him, how to direct him. It's and he came off, in my mind, amazing. Like, I thought he... I, that's what a mercenary should look like in my mind. My thought. Yeah. No. Yeah. He is. Yeah. He fits the bill. I. I can't disagree. Yeah. I can't disagree with that. He is an action movie uh, main God. character. You can say God. Sure. Say God. I, I mean, I wasn't gonna say God, but he's he's good. Yeah. I mean, he's he's the character. Um. I, I want. He just. I want this argument do once. For me. I'll win it again. I yeah. promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He, there's something about him. He doesn't. He doesn't do it for me. He doesn't do it for me. I don't right. know what to say. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Look, I have a lot of man crushes. Chris Hemsworth is not one of them. That's, that's what I'm gonna say about that. He wasn't until recently. He's just... <laughs> Again, I watched the movie five times, so I had nothing but to stare at him. <laughs> Sounds like you like Chris Hemsworth a lot. <laughs> I do. The part where he's uh, he just gets to whatever city or town it is that he's in Mumbai, and he's yeah, hanging out. Thing. Just... Is there even? Do they even tell you where it is? It's it. I think it's in Mumbai. I'm pretty sure. And then he's on the phone. He's calling the guys to find out where the kid is, and he's just sitting at that table and just hanging out with his glasses on and stuff. And they have like one pan shot where he just turns around real slow. He is gorgeous. He's oh, super attractive. Yeah, he's good, he's good looking, but I mean, I, look, I, I I can't I don't have an argument Man. against his looks. He's good looking. All right, I, I got it. All right, cool. We'll move on. Hey, by the way, when we get to the, when we get to the end of this movie, and I tell you what happened when I watch the end, Taylor, you're probably gonna flip because <laughs> my reaction to the end is so over the top ridiculous. You're probably you might lose respect for me. See, I won't. I won't. I won't skip ahead, but I will say I liked the ending. I did like the ending. So okay, I'll we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. That, we'll How about there. we start in the beginning? Let's go before the kid was mm -hmm. shot. This is what I wrote down: the public was the worst club I've ever seen in my entire mm -hmm. life. Yeah. What's <laughs> a bunch of high that? school kids? What do you expect? Well, wait. Was it, <laughs> what, <laughs> was it a juice bar? <laughs> What was yeah, that? I don't know. Was, I don't know. <laughs> and who was dancing to that band? They were doing like air supply covers. I don't know what they were talking about. Like, what were they doing? <laughs> That's funny. That's fun. Honestly, man, I didn't. I, I, I'm glad you caught that or like that jumped out to you because, like, I didn't. Thinking back now, like, the club, I was just like, whatever, it's a throw. Like, just like it's club. Yeah. It's fun. There I like the people like, really in special. that club. <laughs> yeah. Nobody in that so, club. It was a light crowd. It was a light crowd. <laughs> it was so I awful. I will say, we, we've It was a Tuesday. Three... Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> we've done three of these now. Uh, I guess technically two. Um, <laughs> but I love hearing Michael's takes because he catches all those <laughs> weird little things. <laughs> yeah, it totally I totally does. I totally I agree. I just, like, gloss over it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great that. call, though. That club was soft. <laughs> it was soft it was terrible. <laughs> I mean, when he typed it, I was like, this kid is a rebel. Yeah. Um, but the club in 30, I was like, he's going out. Nobody tells him to stay home. 
And then he goes to that club. What club? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you want to hear something sad? Now that I'm thinking about it, like at the time I was like, ah, this is a nice club. Because <laughs> I'm such a loser that I'm just like, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I would hang out there. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh, it's dark it's and there's neon lights. Right. Yeah, that's so, all, yeah. You got me. I'm like, oh, yeah. If I ever so go bad. out. I'm if you look, there. if you watch it again, which Taylor, obviously you won't, but if you watch it again, <laughs> when, they, when they're following the kid into the club and they pan to the dance floor, there's like one couple and the dude's trying to get into dancing, but he can't get it because the, the music is just so slow. He's like, <laughs> trying to it all out. It's so bad. <laughs> So bad. Oh, oh that's funny. Harsh. That's funny. It, so, it was almost like when they started smoking weed outside. It's like, oh, geez, at least something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. All right, where are we going now? Oh, wait, real quick. Since we're starting the beginning, I want to throw out a couple of stuff that happened before. Funny line, chickens aren't cheap. I like when he said that uh, one. I got that. Hilarious. <laughs> I love that line. I was like, ah, that's a good, that's a good line. And then uh, I like the shot. He's sitting on his porch. The shot is through the door as the helicopter goes away from his house. I just thought that was a cool shot. I yeah, just that was very yeah. cool. That, that's that's all I got. Uh, if we're doing lines, if we're doing lines, how about right in the beginning when PJ, you brought up the fact that he just walked off the cliff. All before that happened, when the dude goes, quit swearing, you sound like an idiot, find another fucking yeah. adjective. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I did laugh at that. That was funny. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I caught. I didn't write that down, but I did. when I heard it, I was like, ah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That was really heavy. Uh, the one line I did write down early on, um, when the kid's father, who was in prison, and I'm guessing like what, like his executive assistant or or whatever that <laughs> role he's played. I, I don't know. But there, yep. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what he that's what he puts well. on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> crime lords rank their uh rank their employees. I I don't know of that world. Um <laughs> but what do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like oh that's fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Uh do you want your son to see his next birthday? Yeah. Uh, um that was a pretty badass line. I was yep. like, all right, this guy doesn't mess around. <laughs> and then moving into him getting it when he has the gun to his head and they pull the trigger and he doesn't flinch. I was like, oh, man. That was cool. That was very cool. And I, I was thinking about it. I, I'm sure I've seen it before, but when they did that, it didn't register. And I thought that was the first time I've ever seen a shot like that. Like, usually it's like a – or you hear, like, you see somebody go to a funeral, a uh, military funeral, and they shoot the guns in the air. Everybody flinches a little bit. Like, it's always a more – more dramatic kind of I'm, I'm feeling this moment right now whereas this one was i'm not feeling anything and i, I don't think i've ever seen that before right mm. yeah, yeah I, like, no, he, didn't, he didn't move like usually it's like a little bit of a, a blink or a, a something there was nothing there and that was pretty neat yeah i liked that i can't think of i mean i'm sure there is but yeah i'm with you i can't think of another movie or a scene where something you know, like something like that showed up i'm guessing there is but i'm with you i'm sure there is yeah i just don't remember seeing it at all when no, i saw it i was like either. oh that's weird that's different oh here sorry uh wikipedia is much better than i am uh we'll switch executive assistant to chief henchman <laughs> <laughs> although i like executive assistant a minor, <laughs> a minor change a minor yeah. change uh, there uh, those are synonyms <laughs> that's funny Oh man! Uh, how about uh, beginning scene? He goes in. He's trying to get the kid. Uh, they take him out after that gunshot CMP. They take him out. The zip tie thing. Here's yeah. my problem with that. I'm not convinced it's that easy. <laughs> well, you're, you're not. You're not a mercenary. <laughs> There's no way. It's very true. There's no way. I think there'd be a lot more like. I feel like there'd be a lot of... Like, <laughs> gotta, like, gotta, like, work it out a little bit, and then you get it. Yeah. Like, a lot more cuts on my wrists. I don't think it's just, I'm gonna do and then rip it off, and I'm good to go. That would definitely hurt a bit. No yeah, doubt. It would. It would but, cut I mean, I, I, think, I think you gotta commit to it. I think that's why, you know, you would have the, the couple tugs, like, you're not committing. You just gotta go. You just gotta rip. Okay. I'll try. It's totally, yeah, just get some zip ties, tie yourself up, and try let me know how that goes. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, the other thing in that scene was um, I thought about it. I watched it today. <laughs> Again, I watched <laughs> it. <laughs> and that scene when before all that happened, they blew smoke in his face, whatever, back up. And 
They're going back and forth about money and proof and money and proof. It's really good to see that sarcasm is everywhere. When the little Indian guy goes, Daka. <laughs> After Hensworth says money really slow, he says that really slow. I was like, awesome. Yeah, yeah that, that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Um, no way, okay, wait, so I just want to, I just want to get back on track here, um, to the car scene. Right, that's we're sort of going in order here. Uh, that, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I got right? stuff for the car um, scene. That's fine. Yeah. Days okay. Go. Um, police cars, Toyota Corollas. <laughs> First of all, that, that, that could be accurate. You don't know what the police cars no, they're I'm using in sure Mumbai or wherever, sure Bangladesh. I still don't know where this thing was shot. But whatever, it could be Corollas. I'm sure it is accurate, but you're not catching anyone in a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> well, they're always they're going to be beefed up. It's not like your standard, you know, like entry level Corolla. <laughs> It's not like they look like entry level paint Corollas paint with a paint job. Is no, what I'll say. Yeah, I can't do it. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. That's I know. I know it may seem ridiculous, but even Netflix has a movie budget. Like they have to cut somewhere. They Fair couldn't. Enough. It just. I just noticed it. I just noticed it. <laughs> I, I thought, I All thought I'm saying is those Corollas. I'm sure they could haul. I'm sure they could move. They're they're oh, yeah. super Corollas. <laughs> you, guys, you guys want to go with the uh, Corolla or the Prius? <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, yeah. If those were the choices, Corolla it is. <laughs> but uh, I, I found that funny. I was like, they're not going to catch it. I already know. <laughs> I already knew I didn't going catch in. that at all. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> all right, so give me something, PJ. You said you had some stuff on the car chase. Oh, so a car, uh, when he misses the turn and he's like, fuck's sake. <laughs> He was so it's, like, it's such a funny, normal You're thing right. to, like that everyone does, but like given the situation, I just thought that line was fucking hilarious. Yeah, if you're going yeah, to tell me how to drive, at least give me better directions. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like you missed it. He's like, oh, God, every time. See, but that was, a, that was another problem I had was he has time to reverse. <laughs> yeah, he put some distance between him and the, and the other person. There's yeah, plenty of time. the Corollas. <laughs> in the so curl that's why you can reverse <laughs> i liked when he said when he goes as soon as i get through the gate and she's like what <laughs> gate <laughs> yeah that was, good. that was good but no again that that whole scene the cameras on that scene unbelievable that when she says when she says on your right and that thing pans out right and it's like him looking oh man it was so good no, so i love it so much it's uh, i i can't agree more the uh, the camera or i mean Stuff like that is just my wheelhouse. Like, I just get giddy when I see stuff like that because yeah. I'm just like, that's just cool. Like, it's, and I, I could say it's cool for cool sake. Like, they're like, I'm sure it's not like, but I mean, I just see it. I'm like, man, that's awesome. Yeah. It was <laughs> that's really, crazy. really well done. I want to know how they did it. Like, I want to know, do you guys think it was, I'm sure that was probably just the camera in the car, but do you think there was a lot of drone work in the movie? How does he mean? I don't, I have no, I don't know. I don't know how they did some of the shots. Like, I see him and I was really like, I don't know what they're using to do this. Like, like I'm totally confused. Interior to exterior, like being inside something and then moving it out. Like, that one scene again is just my favorite scene. When they hit the car in reverse and they go, they pan around three, uh, it's probably not 360, but they go around the side. Yeah. And it's just the whole, you get every aspect of that whole shot. It's, Hemsworth and the kid, they hit the car, they pan out, they go to this dude who got hit, who's unconscious, they go around to the guys that are going in the building to get Hemsworth. I mean, that was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I will I, say, I all jokes aside, I, I know I've I know I've ripped this movie kind of hard, but I I totally agree with you guys. The the camera work was really cool. I can't so I can't good. find anything wrong with it. I was yeah, shocked. I really, yeah, it's it's great. And then another quick line from the car chase when the the Corolla cop car hits him in the back and he's like fuck off and like again like <laughs> normal like just like like a normal situation and he's just like oh, responding in like Sorry. a somewhat normal way even though it's like all oh, this shit's going on I, I again thought that was funny absolutely I, I just wanted to say um because i this was something i you know, like what the first thing i wrote down um did anyone catch michael you've seen it five times so uh, maybe it was <laughs> just me Psychopath in the very beginning, doesn't it, sound like, <laughs> doesn't it sound like he's speaking in an American accent, and then all of a sudden he's Australian again? Hemsworth? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, there's definitely points for sure. Right? Uh, yeah, so definitely. Because like I wrote that was there, over my head. I didn't catch Australian that. in the very yeah. beginning, and I was like, yeah. is he not? Because it, you know, they didn't tell you where the the actual action was going to take place, but they somehow managed to tell you that they went to Australia to get him. Um, <laughs> and he's sitting there, and he starts to speak. <laughs> Sorry. Look, he's man. He's sitting there, and he starts. <laughs> you're making your argument subtly, and I get it, and that's awesome. Yeah, and yeah, but by the way, yeah, we're, it's not lost on us. It's not like you're pulling one over on Mike and I. Like we we invented. <laughs> it's for comedic value. Michael invented this subtle argument. It's for comedic value. Um, but yeah, I wrote down right away. I was like, "Isn't he Australian?" And then all of a sudden, like ten minutes later, he starts speaking an Australian accent. I'm like, oh, "Okay, so he is Australian." All right. Uh, <laughs> can we give him? Can we give him a little credit for being able to flip flop between both accents? Can you do Australian real fast? Give me Australian now. Go act. Brocky. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Oscar. Where's my Oscar? Give him an Oscar. <laughs> you nailed that like a split hog. That was great. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't want to. I don't need to go any further. Um, I just, Real quick, uh, I'm I surprised you went with Crikey and not Good Day, mate. I thought you were gonna go with that one. Would have been good. Yeah, I, li I like shrimp on the bobby. Right? Oh, that's a good one. Too. <laughs> that's that's another good one. That's my yeah. Australian move every time. Yeah, because <laughs> nothing says Australia like Outback Steakhouse, and that's yep. ain't <laughs> that's. I'm sure if you ask an Australian, Australian yeah. really like that, that represents them. <laughs> yeah, Foster's and Outback Steakhouse is everything yeah. that happens in Australia. And we're not, <laughs> we're not getting paid by it. That's just real life. We talk about them. We love them. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for the free plug. <laughs> With the dozen of dozen of people that might watch this thing. <laughs> well, now we probably got like fifty Australians from down under. Like, uh, the <laughs> stupid Americans, right? <laughs> so that's you just, anyone you just talk saved, about anything. You just saved that whole thing. Mike doesn't have to edit that now because you said <laughs> stupid <laughs> Americans. That's great. I'll tell you why I'm not going to edit it because I don't deal with social media. So <laughs> that's fire. Well, I went too fast. I love Go it. Ahead. I want to talk real quick. Um, I wanted to talk about the apartment building scene in general. I okay. just it, it was just it was just fun. It was that's just the, that's the best reload. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Like that whole scene, like that th those scenes, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like when that was going on, I was freaking locked in. Um, couple was, quick things, real quick. Really good. Multiple stabs to the throat at one point mm -hmm. was yeah, awesome. First guy. Vicious. That was the vicious. first guy. The first yeah, guy he stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he got him on the first one. Oh, see, yeah, he was, see, he and was here's dead. my thing. I love the overkill. I love the more than necessary. Like I just, it's every time I see something like that, like the extra shots, the extra three or four stabs, I'm like, yes, just keep stabbing him. And again, this see, goes back to the psychotic thing I said about this man. <laughs> the face. Yeah, so I was going to say, staying on brand uh -huh. the overkill. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I, I might as well just go with it now. But I, when he, I was just like, yeah, pop, pop, pop. It was awesome. Look, and when we finally do merchandise, you're going to get your own shirt. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that. I would wear yeah, that shirt. It's gonna be a good shirt for sure. Ah, uh, but and then, but seriously, I was super pumped. Uh, I mean, it was great. And then, I, the lack of music during the apartment scene. I don't know if you guys caught that. Like, I'm surprised I did because again, I never noticed that. But like, and I guess the lack of music for a lot of the action scenes, like. Yeah. I just thought it was cool, like, but it, sticking to the apartment, like, I just thought it, like, ramped it up. Like, I was just, like, it was so, like, made it more intense. And I love music to accompany stuff, like, because it sure. can, like, make a scene even oh, better. Yeah. So, like, I, I'm totally for music, but for this, for whatever reason, like, no music, just them running through this apartment. I don't know. It was just, I just, I love really that scene. I thought it was shock great. The, when they showed, like, it was that part, and then I think the extension of that part, so where you're talking about where the dude falls over the rail, the camera work to follow him down and hit the pavement. And then when the guy, when Hemsworth goes out with, um, what's his name? Uh, Radhi Poda. When they go outside and they're nice. fighting and they fall on the, that was amazing as well. Yes. So good. That whole thing was amazing. That was really good. My thing about that scene progressing to the part before the fight, the knife fight 
was why are people in India so used to knife fights and shit happening in the middle of the road? And people barging into their apartments, right? Did anyone look really that surprised? Didn't even care. Didn't <laughs> even care. <laughs> why, would, why, would a, why would a Vespa just drive through the middle? You know what? Just go. We're good. They're fine. They'll figure it out. We'll get it. We're, it's not a problem. All right. the, only First, thing, the only thing that set that crowd off was when Hemsworth got hit by a car. And they were all like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that coming. That was the one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. to, to, to speak to that briefly, I think they are all in shock. I'm going to chalk it up to shock. Like, if someone's just, like, busting through your apartment, like, you're just going to be like, uh, okay, okay. I, I don't know. I would. Well, the one lady I don't, think, I don't think it's because TV. it happens all the time. <laughs> um, the knife fights are awesome, right? Knife <laughs> I mean, fights yes. are amazing. Like, that's, those, I mean, because one wrong move. And uh, I mean that's game over. <laughs> I mean, yeah. so that scene, that fight scene was cool. I was I was on board for that. I was locked in. Yeah, it was really good. It was really yeah, well done. I I, uh, I know Mike. I, I'm guessing you want to talk about the knife fight scene. Um, I, I I love a good knife fight. It's crazy. It's so intense. Even though I know it's a movie, I'm always just like, oh my god, it's a knife. <laughs> like nothing really happened. Like even. <laughs> This is going to sound weird. We could edit this out if it's too weird. But, like, you ever pick up, like, a kitchen knife and just sort of, like, ah, like one of those, you know? Yeah, every <laughs> like day. jabs in there. No? Yeah, I've no never one? done Ab that. Absolutely. No? Oh, yeah. I, I do. have never I done that. that. I know what? how I would go about it. I, really? I don't. Yeah, I don't think I would win the fight, but I know my stance. I can guarantee you wouldn't win a knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, You're don't get me wrong. I hope you, if it ever happens, right. I hope you win. But I assume I'm going to your funeral. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm a betting man, I'm not putting my money down on you. We're gonna go somewhere. No, I can't blame you at all. I, yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. I mean, I, at least I, I know I'd beat Michael. He doesn't even know how to hold the knife. I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely right. I wouldn't know what to do. Mike's never pretended to have a knife fight, so he's out. <laughs> what a douche. <laughs> and this call, and Sarah's gonna go talk to Molly. Like he's never done a knife fight by himself. Before. <laughs> and Molly's gonna be like, "What an asshole!" What an asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. I totally show off my knife moves in front of Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Girls that really is the guys with that is, skills. That is pure gold, skills. by the way. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, honey, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Molly just dies a little more inside. She's like, oh. yeah, right. It's like we're really doing this. All right. <laughs> I made the right decision. I made the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> you can only convince yourself so many times. Eventually, yeah. eventually. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, she's thinking, well, hey, this guy could defend the home against an intruder for like 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's a hard worker. He's a I couldn't. He's a hard worker. He's a <laughs> I'm none of those things. I, would, I, I want to believe there's a world where Molly thinks, yeah, Taylor could defend us with a knife. I want to, I, I want, I want that to be real. It doesn't it's exist. Like, she goes this, home she's and like, oh, dad is just like fine. hanging up his bow. He's like, the kid's a pussy. <laughs> I could have killed that kid like 50 times. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh, shit. That is really good. Oh, my God. That is pure gold. All right. uh, I got That's a bunch. Oh, I have another, uh, a couple more notes about the knife fight. Go. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I love a good front kick. And oh when. It's just the coolest thing. And I just, I love, are I just we, love the, the hold every on, time that, you see a front kick. Go ahead. Sorry, wait, Mike. Go. That, are we backing up to the point where he picked him up the first time and kicked that dude into the half wall? Oh, I wasn't, but that's, I, <laughs> that front kick was insane. Right? Uh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't, thank you for bringing that up. That was, I didn't even have a note for that. Thank you. That was awesome. Amazing. And that I mean, good. front kicks are cool. Front kicks yeah. are cool. Talk about They're amazing. Placement. They're amazing. 
they 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 like they're the simplest way to show raw power. <laughs> mm. That's a good, yeah, it's a good way. Just of like a standard it. front kick, and you see someone going, it's just like, I will never be that strong, <laughs> ever. ever. Yeah, it's, it's super right, cool. You can't skip leg day. I know, I know. Like everyone that. wants to. Everyone wants the beauty muscles. That whole part, um, and I'm sure Taylor's going to disagree with this. I liked the the room scene where Ovi is laying down, and, and they have the back and forth. I I, I, did, I, I think that it. was the part where <clears throat> I bought into the characters. Like okay. I, and again, I uh, Taylor, I know it, not so much. But like I, that's where I started to care, um, and I was like, uh, and, and and to to expand a little bit, I liked the kid. I thought for me, the kid made the movie. Yeah, he was good. He was very good. He was. Yeah, he, he was good. He was I, very he was important. Good. Obviously, I mean, he's the one that's kidnapped. But I mean, I just thought he was. I don't know. I just I cared <laughs> yep. about his well being. <laughs> I guess is the point. <clears throat> I'll give and it to you. I, think I actually, really, I really agree with you. I do agree with you. I, look, I, I know I've been hard on this movie. I, I have been. I didn't take it for what it was, which is on me. I get it. I went in with a bad attitude. It's my fault. Um, but I do, ag- <laughs> I do agree with you, though. That scene was good. It was good. And, and I think if there was a scene where I was on board, that kind of got me there, and it did get me through to the ending, and then when the whole ending ensued, it all made more sense for me. It did. I, I don't disagree with what you're saying. We're going to, just like last time, I'm going to rapid fire some stuff that uh, we missed, or that I want to say. Very early scene, when he's first getting the kid, using the mug to kill that one guy, I loved it. Oh, um, yeah. I just, th- I just thought it was, su- I just like, oh, that's awesome. I want to kill someone. Really cool. <laughs> I just, like, I, just, I want to I wanna do that. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna embrace this. The by the way. <laughs> I want to kill someone and get yeah. a mustache. What's the That's... most popular shirt we're selling? It's obviously gonna be. PJ's. <laughs> it's there's gonna no be that one. one. Yeah. yeah, PJ's beating us there. Yeah. I mean, he I thinks he's by himself, that. but there's like 70 million people out there right now. They're like, just oh, give me that. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a lot of races out there. <laughs> there <laughs> if are. we unite, watch out. Um, <laughs> Uh, the the rake kill in that in that scene was oh, brutal. Oh, the rake kill when he was cool. smashes yeah. his, I was totally awesome. agree. Yeah. I was like, oh. and then he goes back to the broken off part of the rake and kills someone else. Did yep. I, yeah, right. That was really good. Cool. Really I, good. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and I'm sorry. I meant, I meant I was specifically talking about the broken off, the actual yeah. when he smashes the, the guy. The second rake kill. Yeah, that, that was, yeah. That was <laughs> the second rake kill. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> also, isn't it? I know they didn't actually show it, but for me, anything, there's not a lot that skeeves me out. Eyes skeeve me out. Oh, anything yeah. with the eyes. Yeah. Like, when they even, like, I agree. The fact that, like, yeah, like, they that he was going to shove his eyes into the, into the rake. Shows, just like, they do, no, like, I'm done. A doctor show where they have, like, a needle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you do that? I could never do no. that. I'll go no. blind. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I can I'll stand go a lot with with like violence on camera. Something with eyes is is where I'm, I, I kind of draw yeah. the line. <laughs> um, uh, another uh, what the hell moment when they threw the kid off the be- off the roof? Crazy. Yeah. Kid. I thought they were just gonna hang him there, and then all of a sudden he's on the pavement. I was like, Yee, yeah, that kid, yeah, yeah, that kid, that's, that's rough. <laughs> that kid had it coming. I will say, <laughs> what made me lose respect for the villain instantly. And I guess it kind of came full circle, right? I mean, um, the kid who he didn't have cut off his fingers, you know, at the ending. Um, but where they're like, we got to go. And he's like, oh, never mind. Don't cut off your fingers. It's like, I already told him to do it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's going to cut off his fingers. I'm not a crime lord, but if I order you to cut off your fingers, we're not leaving until I got two. <laughs> as long as that. <laughs> as long as that. No, oh, it's like, I got to go. Postpone it. We'll table this for later. <laughs> no. no. I made the order. You're cutting your fingers off. I'm sorry. It's twisted, but that's how it's going to go. <laughs> so right there, I was like, that, that was that was a big one for me. That was a big one for me. <laughs> that's, fingers uh, I don't have a problem with. 
I wanted to see fingers cut off. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, seriously, if you have to lose a finger, I think it's the pinky, right? No, see, yeah. I just, I'm with you. I think it's the ring finger. Really? Yeah. I think for Why? consistency, it's got to be the pinky. Like, at least I still got these four. You never use right? the ring finger. Oh, what do you use ring for finger? grip? Oh, just for grip, right? See, but I, I think having the the width of having a pinky is important. Like, if you lose this, well, you still got to pull it again. You can never bowl again if you cut off the ring finger. Well, I mean, that's like I'm, an I'm an avid bowler, so that, would, that would be crushing. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like Liam, who I thought Why? actually was playing. Yeah, I don't know. They're not talented. What? They're handsome and Australian. That's easy. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> if I was born in Australia, <laughs> they got the golden go. ticket. Start right there. <laughs> be American and then be talented. That's tough. <laughs> it's not easy. It is not it's easy. Not. It's not easy at all. <laughs> that is. That is fun. That is good. <laughs> I'm really kidding. The gauntlet has been thrown, Australia. <laughs> I, I don't re I don't really I just don't like the Hemsworth I just don't think that they've done I anything don't like the Hemsworth I like that phrase <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Winkle Vi of the movie world I just oh, don't that's great. I just don't like him that is <laughs> although really I good. do like Army Hammer he's cool but <laughs> the American version of Hemsworth way to go that's exactly right <laughs> Score one for the home team. <laughs> you don't think that you don't think Thor was good? Avengers no, Thor. Yeah, they were they were fun. Oh man. Yeah, I know. I feel like I'm I feel not like your guy. Taylor's case of the movie isn't the movie. I think he's. Just, I just think he doesn't like Hemsworth. Yeah, he was just going in biased. Yeah, I really did. I I, <laughs> I, I knew I was going. I knew I was going in. Bias when I started. I, I did not want to like the movie. Um, I did not want to like the movie. That's I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I can't give you an answer. And I like Australians. I do. I, 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 <laughs> Good save. That was genuine. That was a genuine comment. Look, the end and this. Okay, so here's the thing. This is going to. Especially because Taylor basically hated the movie. Um, I. Cried at the end. Oh, God. No, I swear to God, not that's not not teared up, not yeah, choked up. That's soft. genuine tears, genuine oh. tears. When he For takes what? it, in, wait, no, shut up. You can all shut up. I'm gonna explain why. <laughs> when he takes it in the neck, I was destroyed, literally destroyed. And when he leans up, shut up, Taylor. I don't need to see the face either. When he <laughs> leans up against the rail, I'll call it a railing, and. Ovi runs, and I'm just like, oh, my God. And, you know, she grabs him, you know, says, you know, can't go any further. When he looks and does the nod. Oh, I like that. That was, that good. was it. It was good. It went from choked up good. to this guy's crying. And yeah. I was destroyed. My, honestly, favorite part of the last scene was the bathroom scene when Nick freaking shoots him in the head. And I, I love the slow-mo. Like, I, I love all, all things. I have notes. When she smiles, <laughs> I am like, oh, I'm like, please, just, I mean, you're glorious. I love you. And then when when it pans back to just the two of them, and she slow-mo puts a bullet in his head and then walks over him, just puts another bullet. Like, it's, it's, it's spot on. It's just really good. I loved it. And I also loved it. She walks away and drags blood from her dress. Yes. Like, I, yeah. it's a minor detail, but when I saw that, I was like, ah, she gives zero shits. Like, she's yeah. a badass. She just killed him. She's going to drag blood on her, you know, what, what I will say is a very nice dress. <laughs> and she looked, she looked great. <laughs> and she, she just doesn't guy. care. She's like, eh. and I just, it was so good. It was, and honestly, the smile... I mean, top-notch smile. Taylor, what's your rating for the movie? 
So, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was subtle. <laughs> it's gonna be low. <laughs> I'm gonna go with what I sort of stuck with the whole time. One point five. Although I will say, I had a star. I had a star rating in mind, but then Point Michael two. gave Michael gave Eagle Rare a two. Oh. Um, which is, wait a which minute, I'm, I'm not okay with that. If you're gonna, if this movie's gonna get a low rating from you because of Michael's Eagle Rare rating, I don't, I, I disagree. That's a great rating. No, yours was spot on. I don't like to tell you yeah, no. backing off that and make this movie. Meant you. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm piggybacking off it. Let me let me finish my rating. Sorry, I'm giving it. I'm not a sorry. Soft, <laughs> a soft two. Ah. The soft two from it. Damn, so you're sorry, like one point five. No, I'm a soft two. I a would give it two. two. All right, a soft two, two. out of five. I'm sorry, forty percent. Okay, that's Look, good. I, I, you know, I, I will say, just like how we were speaking about how the Eagle Rare is not something we're going to keep in house, but right. we would order it at a bar. I would watch this movie at a bar. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, no, not, sorry, not quite as bad. But I'm going to have to have had a few drinks, and then I'll turn it on. It's just got to be like mindless for me. I'm sorry. Right. That's where I'm oh, at. Fair. It's mindless. <laughs> Keep that. <Sorry>. Keep that. <laughs> I'm going to give it a two. I think it's a two, a solid two, because if I have to rate it against a movie that is in the same genre, the same feeling I had watching it, it's Die Hard. And Die Hard is, for me, a five. And I can't give Extraction a five. So I'll give it a two. Okay. Uh, I'm the last to go, which is upsetting. Um, I out. am. What? what do you mean, no? I heard a five. No, I wasn't disagreeing with that. He did. Taylor? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You did this. No, I didn't. See, I was. No, see, okay. Keep this on pause. I was not shaking my head at that. I was shaking my head. At the fact that I thought it may have persuaded you guys to alter your rating of it. That's what I would shake my head at. I'm on board. Okay. Nope. I'm a two. No I, have, no, I have no problem with you saying Die Hard's a five. Not at all. You bastard. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You want to hate me. I love you, but I hate you. <laughs> I don't like either of you. <laughs> it's fair. fair. So my rating is, I mean... You guys are idiots. I can't believe two. I mean, two are just <laughs> awful. I mean, it's just, it's silly. Um, I'm going to give it a hard three. Oh, I hard loved three. it. And honestly, I'm flirting with a four. And here's why. Here's why. Yeah, I, you, tell, you can shake your head all you want. I don't care. <laughs> the action scenes are amazing. They are all good. And when, when you're talking about an action movie... Like, again, like Mike said, I'm not comparing it to, uh, shit, what do you say, uh, something. Anything. No, the, the movie, something kind of, is uh, it's, uh, eh, eh. Gone with the Wind. Oh, what? <laughs> it's Gone with the Wind. That's the one you're looking for. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. I'm not comparing it to that. Okay, that's fine. But the action scenes were spun on. The ending, obviously, like, because I'm an idiot, I cried. I mean, it's just, it's a it's a quality movie. Like, I, I, I wasn't upset. By the time I watched, like, I got the, to the end of it. I was right. happy. Action was great. A lot of dead bodies. Uh, cool scenes that we talked about for hours at this point. Um, I was personally invested in the characters. So, yeah, it's, it's a hard three. It's a hard three. It's good. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our take on the Netflix movie Extraction. And I would like to raise a glass of Eagle Rare and have a great evening. Thank Take care, everyone. Much.